for today's video, I will discuss what is an if statement and how it works in Visual Studio. If a statement in VB, it evaluates the condition and if it's true, it executes the statement that follows. If the condition is not true, it continues with the statement following the else structure. For this example, we have a condition and an else part. If we will put a specific condition, we must use an else if instead of an else. Here is an example. We declare a variable average as integer and we will get the text average that text that to string and put it in our variable average. Here we will check the value of average. If it's greater than 75, then we will put a result of A in our text grade. Else if average is greater than 65, then test grade that text equals B. Else if average is greater than 55, then Text grade that text equals C. Else, if average greater than 45, then text grade that text equals S. Else, text grade that text equals F. So, if we will have an average that is not a number, it will automatically go to the else part, which is F. So here's an example of an interface wherein we put three text boxes for the name, the gender, and the greetings. One button that will execute the result or the checking of the name and gender and put it on the greetings part. So how it will work? Here's a sample code of our Visual Basic, wherein we declare three variables, the greeting, the name, and the gender. If gender equals M or gender equals small m, then greetings equals greeting plus Mr. plus name. So here you can see that greeting has already a default value of good day. And we add the Mr. since our gender is equivalent to M or small m plus name. Else if gender equals F or gender equals small f, then greetings, greeting equal greeting and miss and name. You can see here that I use different symbol to concatenate or add the strings to a variable. So you can use either the plus symbol or the end symbol. Else we will have an invalid gender. And if for the closure of our if statement, text result that text equals greeting. For your lab exercise two, these are the instructions. First, declare a new variable that will get the value of text age. If age is 18 and above and the gender is male, the greeting must be you can now vote Mr. plus the value of the entered name. If age is 18 and above and the gender is female, the greeting must be you can now vote Miss plus the value of the entered name. If age is 60 and above and the gender is male, the greeting must be enjoy your discount Mr. plus the value of the entered name. If the age is 60 and above and the gender is female, the greeting must be enjoy your discounts Miss plus the value of the entered name. Next, if age is 0 to 17 and the gender is male, the greeting must be enjoy being young, mister. If age is 0 to 17 and the gender is female, the greeting must be enjoy being young, miss, plus the entered name. If age does not match to any conditions above, display a message box 
entered valid age. If there are missing values for any text boxes, display a message box, fill out all the fields, and lastly, add clear button to clear the value of greetings, name, gender, and age text boxes. Now I will show you the coding of our Visual Basic. Now we're in the Visual Basic. So here's our default design for the name, gender, and fitting. We will just add the text box and label for our age. Let's just copy or select first the two controls, the label and the text box. Okay. Make sure to unselect the controls before modifying its properties. Let's select the greeting, the first greeting, and we will update it to H. And the name must be label H. Instead of label 1. Label H. For text box, it must be text H. TXT, capital A, G, E. Now, let's go to our code. The greet button, double click. On our last discussion, here is the code of the button add or it must be button greet. So we can now have another condition by putting it here and and our condition for our age. But first let's declare a variable for age team age as you can say it's a string or an integer. So let's have it as integer. Next is we will get the value of the text age. Age equals val then text each the text the two string then in our if condition gender equals m or gender equals small m we must put a parenthesis for this condition since it is a separate text box and our condition for 18 and above age less than or greater than or equal to 18 but it must not exceed the 60 so and age Less than or equal to 59, or you can just use less than 60. Again, we must have a parenthesis on this part. Then, greeting, we will not use. The greeting, good day. So let's just remove it. So you can now vote Mr. plus the name. Okay. So let's copy this condition and replace the age part. Else if, we will use again the M for the gender, but the age must be 
60 and above. Age 60 and above. Enjoy your discount. Discount, Mr. Plus the name. Next is the 0 to 17 age. Let's copy paste again. Else if zero to seventeen must be less than or equal, then enjoy being young. Okay. We just have to do this for the female gender. And as said in our instruction, you must put additional button for clear and check if the text boxes are all filled out. And lastly, we must add the code here for invalid input for the age. Okay. So if we have invalid gender, we, you must also check if it's invalid age. So thank you and happy coding!